the floorless surface of the spectacular society, masks an accelerating polarization within modern British culture. This division is part of a broader economic polarization, which since the late 1970s has left 50% of the population with less than 10% of the nation's total wealth. Whilst advances in digital technology and the interweb continue to liberate the means of cultural production, the bourgeoisie are perfecting new ideological and social barriers designed to exclude the working classes. This repression has two key elements. Firstly, to protect their elite art culture from vulgarization, the bourgeoisie have developed a democratic mythology which rebrands art from a mystic fetish to a popular culture, vital to the well-being of society. This myth of democratic art is supported by bogus statistics, historical fabrications, corporate sponsorship, and viral marketing, disguised as radical politics. Secondly, under the cover of this democratic art scam, the bourgeoisie are attempting to institutionalize their authority as the gatekeepers of taste by developing an elite class of pseudo-scientific experts trained in a new range of academic pseudo-disciplines, including curation, event management, museology, and cultural entrepreneurship. This initiative is partially a reaction to the success of the DIY counterculture, and so, it is now necessary for the counterculture to expose the art bureaucrats, as the cunts they are. We do not need mystic rituals from professional aesthetes. Fuck. Art. Let us make our own culture for ourselves. You said it. Destroy.